Do you analyze the asset number of petroleum products by potentiometric titration? Do you have issues with the reproducibility of your results? My name is Julian Opel and in the second part of my tutorial I will give you four additional tips to help you to improve the accuracy and reproducibility of the asset number determinations. In case you've missed the first part of my tutorial with the four tips on electrode cleaning, click here. So, let's start with the second part of my tutorial and my first tip. Good results start with proper electrode preparation. Always prepare your electrode before the first titration in the morning. Click on this link to watch how this is done step by step. Acid number determination is a non-aqueous titration. This makes it prone to electrostatic influences. So here's my tip number two. To avoid electrostatic effects, use an electrode with an additional electrostatic shielding. For example, the Matron Solvotrode. However, even with a dedicated electrode, spikes caused by electrostatic charging can still occur in the titration curve. So here is how you can avoid such spikes. First, make sure you do not wear clothing that is prone to electrostatic charging. Second, make sure the diaphragm of your electrode is not blocked. In the first part of my tutorial, I showed you how you can avoid a blocked diaphragm by cleaning it. So watch the first part of my tutorial to see how this is done. The three tips I just gave you are crucial to improve accuracy and reproducibility of your asset number results. My tip number four is just the icing on the cake. Use automated systems. Automation of the cleaning and conditioning of your electrode is your best bet you can make sure your results are reproducible. Also, automation frees up time that you can use for other tasks. Now you know everything you need to achieve better results for asset number determinations. If you missed the first four tips on the electrode cleaning, check out the first part of my tutorial. You can find all additional help videos mentioned in this tutorial in the video description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know and feel free to share it.